to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have this massive haul of action figures. I say action figures because it is not only WWE, guys, but we have all kinds of figures in here. We have WWE, yes, it's mainly WWE, but we have some other things that are not WWE, and we have just a slew of figures here that we're going to cover, guys. I mean, I, I went on vacation for Memorial Day with my wife yesterday, and we went on a little toy hunt. I got a few things on that. Not only did I get some figures, but I also picked up a video game, and we will talk about that in just a few moments because I have some exciting news for you guys as well as some things that you guys can actually get involved with. So that is something that I think you guys will be very happy about. But let's go ahead and dive in here. I also have a package from my boy Christian from Unstable1047 that I want to open up. I also have some Amazon hauls. I'm still waiting on my ringside exclusive Hardy Boys. They should be here today if you guys want me to review them and have that up for tomorrow morning. Please let me know. So ringside exclusive Hardy Boys are also coming. We also have a haul from my boy Rodney coming in. I'm filming Vindication, trying to get customs done, working on some other things. We just got a lot of stuff going on here today, guys, so we're going to dive right into these hauls here, and the first figure that we have, guys, is up top here. It is the Friday the 13th 2009 uh, remake figure from NECA. You guys know we review the NECA figures here. If you guys want me to review this, please let me know down in the comments section below. So here it is right here, looking pretty good in the packaging. So that's the first figure that we picked up from NECA. If you guys would like to uh, see me review this, please uh, let me know down below. The next figure we got guys is the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Broly full power form from the newest Dragon Ball Z movie. If you guys got to check that out, if you're a DBZ fan, if you like the SH Figure Arts figures, here is this. It's very massive. Like, my God, it's very massive. It's huge. Look at a Finn Balor figure. You guys can just see the difference in size here. I'm very excited to pick this up. It's going to go greatly into the SH Figure Arts collection. Broly is such a badass character, man. Always been one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters. He's just so massive. Look at him. It's freaking beautiful. So that's another figure that we grabbed. The next figures we got guys is the epic moments Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho yes we got this from Burlington Coat Factory we were out of town yesterday and we were uh, we were passing by a Burlington Coat Factory and I remember my boy Rodney telling me if you go to Burlington Coat Factory they have a bunch of these and well enough they sure did Brad they had one of these they were going for 20 bucks a pop they had about four or five of them so I grabbed one and I figured this would be great for customs and stuff I think it retailed for 40 or 50 so I thought that was a great deal to grab the epic Moments Festival of Friendship, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. We'll get some usage out of this. I can use the extra pieces for you know, uh, the, the pick fed and extra belts and customs and stuff of that nature. So I went ahead and grabbed that Epic Moments figure set. Next up guys, we did get our Elite Series 68 and we're showing it off here today. We have Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Brie Bella, Braun Strowman, The Undertaker, and King Mabel. So we did grab the full Elite Series 68 set from Ringside Collectibles, guys, using promo code MDTOYS. This set is pretty solid. You know, you got Braun Strowman, which isn't my favorite figure in the set. It's pretty much a re-release of the top talents. Brie Bella isn't the best either, but I think the other four are pretty solid. I love Roman Reigns. I think he looks fantastic. Uh, I love the updated vest. You get the Universal Championship. I love the updated Daniel Bryan in the Seattle Seahawks attire with the Chuck Norris head scan and the, the claw t-shirt there. We have another Undertaker from SummerSlam looking great, which is kind of weird. You know, the whole the whole, the whole set is SummerSlam theme, which is kind of which is kind of weird. But there's Undertaker and then finally we have King Mabel, which is the Chase variant in the set, but I'm not very excited for the Chase variant. It's literally the exact same figure, except it has lightning instead of the big M on it. So, that is crazy, but if you guys would like to pick up any of these figures that you see here from Elite Series 68, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS and you will save yourself some money. And I just wanted to shout them out for sending us these figures. They look fantastic, and I love them so much. So there are all of Elite Series 68. Some other stuff that we grabbed, guys. I got these from Amazon. You guys will see probably in a later date video. I picked up these basic Finn Balors, and the reason I did is because of these head scans. You see, it is the Top Talents head scan, and I actually have, you know, my Top Talents figures. I have so many of them for customs and things of that nature. So I had to pick up a few more of these because the head scans were either switched for other customs or fix-ups, or the, the head scan had damage to them. So I went ahead and grabbed these. They were six bucks a pop on Amazon. I didn't think you could get any better than that. So it was $18 for all three figures. I can make some crowd members out of these once I am done with their head scans. You know, head swap them, put them in the crowd, put a t-shirt on them, and bam, there you go. So three Finn Balors for a great price on Amazon. And now that we have covered all of the figure pickups that we've gotten this week, guys, let's get into this package from my boy Christian Unstable1047. We conducted a trade, and I do still have to ship his 
stuff out to uh, to Rodney. It's like a three-way deal. It's like the NBA in here. We did like a three-way trade that I have to, you know, ship out. But we're going to cut the box open here. Give it a little cutsy. Careful not to cut my freaking hand off here. All right, he left us a note here. Always love Christian's notes. He says, Hello, Trey. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Your friendship means the world to me. Also, thank you for helping me out with the Brian Pillman figure. You talked about how you needed a Sin Cara Elite, so I added it in as a surprise. Also added my logo sticker. Can't wait to see the China Elite. Get Unstable 1047 to 10,000 subs. Hashtag get unstable with ringside. So there you go. Unstable 47, guys. Let's get him to 10,000 subs. If you guys are watching this, I think he has like 8,000 or so, maybe a little bit more than that. Let's get him to 10,000 subscribers. We get him to 10,000 subscribers. Guys, I will give away 10 figures. I'll give away 10 figures. You guys, you guys go subscribe to Unstable. We will we will give away 10 figures here on the channel. And also on the China Elite, bro, I actually have parts coming in like today or tomorrow, I think. And uh, I'll have that China Elite finished like that. Like, it's going to be really easy, actually. Um, it took me a while to find the parts, but I, I think I finally got it all figured out. But here we go. Ten, Unstable 1047. Love the logo. I always thought his logo was super underrated. So there we go. I'll find a great spot for that. Love when you guys send me stickers and stuff. Got to gotta rep my boy here. But it looks like we also have, this was part of our trade here. I did not know I was getting the Sin Cara Elite. Thank you so much for that, bro. That is freaking awesome. I love Sin Cara Elites. We can use that for parts and things of that nature. But the other part of the trade was this Kofi Kingston, and the reason we got the Kofi Kingston figure is because I wanted to use the lower legs and the kick pads for a Finn Balor figure, so I'm going to acetone off those designs, use the lower legs, and we're going to create probably Finn Balor's updated look, you know, the SmackDown Live with the blue trunks and the white kick pads. That's probably what we're going to do with it. So that's probably, uh, that, that'll be the future for Kofi Kingston here. So we got our Finn Balor basics. We got our Kofi Kingston Elite. We have our Sin Cara Elite figure. We have all of our Elite Series 68, which I guess I got to slide it into picture here. Sliding it in. So you have Sin Cara, Elite Series 68, King Mabel, get Braun Strowman in here. Where's We got to get the big dog Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan over here. So bam, there's that one. There's Daniel Bryan. Then we have our basics and our stuff. Not including our Festival of Friendship. Not including our Jason. Not including our Broly. But another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about before the end of the video is about this brand new game that I got, which is completely old by now. And I know you guys are going to make fun of me that I got it so late. But it is 2K19. I finally grabbed this because the reason that I'm going to hear me out here. The reason I did not pick this up when it first dropped is because I usually don't like the 2K video games. I don't like 2K basketball. I don't like 2K wrestling. They're way too slow. I think the gameplay needs to go back to the arcade style, you know, upbeat, more like Here Comes the Pain, SmackDown versus Raw. I prefer older basketball games because they're too slow now. Every every animation, everything is too animation-ridden, and it's very laggy and slow, and you can't, I don't know, it's just not fluent, guys. It's real, like, laggy, and I press a button, and it's like input lag. Like, it doesn't do it when I hit the button. It's just really crappy gameplay from 2K, so that's the reason that I didn't grab it till now. But I picked up WWE 2K19 because I'm actually in the process of uploading MDT logos, MDT belts, MDT everything, and I'm going to have it where you guys can download the championships for you to use. So if you have PlayStation 4 and you have WWE 2K19, today I am in the, I'm the, in the legit process right now of upload. Like, the Elite Championship is up on the Community Creations. You can go download it literally as we speak. Just look up my damn toys hashtag my damn toys or look up uh, MDT elite championship it should pop up but I would really appreciate if you guys would would go check it out it literally looks just like it does in real life you know the figure championship so I'm gonna upload all of our championships I'm gonna plan on you know getting both rosters onto my downloadable characters and see if I can do like a universe mode or something and we may have future content of WWE 2k19 in the future so if you guys are interested in that definitely go check out those belts if you're a fan of the pick fed the belts will all all be up. The Money in the Bank briefcases will be up. Vindications, MDT Lives, and the Bullet Club Money in the Bank will all be up for download on there. And it's going to be awesome, man. I, I can't wait for you guys to check it all out. The Elite Championship came out perfect. I, I think it looks fantastic. So if you guys will please go download that. Give me some support there. I'd really appreciate that. 
But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Again, go download that. Check out 2K. I'm, I'm going to be updating you guys on what all is downloaded. But here's our full haul. We have so many action figures here today, guys. Looks insane. Thank you to Ringside. Thank you to NECA. Thank you to Big Bad Toy Store for the Broly and Burlington Coat Factory for the epic moments. And Christian Unstable 1047, guys. Go sub to his channel. Link is in the description below. Thank you guys so very much for watching today's video. I know it's a later upload. I usually upload at 5 in the morning, but... uh. I was exhausted yesterday, and I took a little sleep in time. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.